all gamers. My name is Cameo Gaming and I'm back in our video. Today I will be showing you how to use the program I used to edit with, which is called Windows Movie Maker. This was requested by Pug Plays Games. Let's get started with the tutorial. When you open up the program, a screen will appear. There will be a big box in the center-ish of the screen. This is where you can place photos or videos. To place a video slash photo, select your photo slash video and drag it to the big box. It should look something like this. You will see this black line across the video as shown. You can move it to go to certain parts of the video. You can split the video by placing the black line on the part you want to split. Then, press the line with your right mouse button. A bunch of options will appear such as cut, copy, paste, remove, and etc. There will be an option called split. Click on that and it will split your movie. To remove a video slash photo, do the exact same steps as before, but this time, click the remove button. It will remove the clip your black line is hovering on. To undo an action, there will be this blue arrow on the top left corner. Click on that and it will undo or redo your action. You can add a caption by clicking the caption button. You can type your caption, move it around, change its font, size, and color. You can change how long the caption will hold for. You can also change how transparent the font is if you wish by clicking on the transparent tool and sliding the slider up or down. You can also add titles or credits. This will be a new clip. Again, you will have most of the same tools as before. You can change how long the clip and text is by clicking on either the text duration or start time buttons. You can change the color of the background by clicking on the background button. You can change the color with the colors given to you, or you can make your own colors by clicking the more colors button. Then click define custom colors. You can then make your own unique colors. You can add a narration, snapshot, or web camera recording by clicking one of the three buttons on the corner. You must have some sort of microphone or webcam, either high quality or built in, or else the webcam narration won't work. You can change the speed, video volume, and more by either clicking on one of the following video tools, narration tools, or music tools. There will be a bunch of options. Click on the speed box to change the speed. You can make it super fast or super slow. You can change the volume of the video, narration, or music by clicking on the volume tab and adjusting the volume. You can fade in the video, music, or narration. To do so, click the fade in or fade out options. You can fade your video, narration, or music fast, medium, or slow. Hey guys, it's Akuma Game here, and I'm back with another video. It's mushroom squishy. It is so soft. Next off, there are animations. Click the animations tab at the top of the program. It will bring you a list of animations for you to use. These animations are for transitioning from one scene to another, starting a video, or to end a video. Hover over the clip you would like to add an animation on. Choose an animation, and bam! Video. 
you got an animation. Keep in mind though, you can only do one animation per clip, so you would have to split your video slash photo into pieces if you want more than one animation. That's not a video. You can change the duration of the animation. To do so, there will be a button beside the animation saying duration. This will be unblocked once you've picked an animation. You can now change how long the animation will fade in slash out. That's not a video. Next off are visual effects. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just hover over the video with your black bar and then pick an effect. This will change how the movie looks like. Hey guys, it's... There are a bunch of options to choose from. There are some visual effects that can fade in or fade out your video. For example, Hey guys, it's... Fade out to black. Hey guys, it's a new game here and I'm back with another video. You can also change the brightness of your video slash visual effect. There will be a button next to the visual effects called brightness. Click on it and there will be a bar. You can slide it up or down to change the brightness. Next up is the project tab. There are only a few options. You can emphasize narration, video, music, or no emphasis. Just hover over your video or narration and either click Emphasize Narration or Emphasize Video. It is so soft. The last option is View. Again, not too many options. You can view waveforms, preview full screen, thumbnail size, reset, zoom out, and zoom in. I will not go into too much detail about this. Once you are done editing, you can rewatch your video by going back to the home page and pressing space to watch your video. It is so soft. You are watching Cat and Big Gaming. You can also press F11 to see your video on full screen. Once you are sure you are done the video, you can save your video by pressing the option in the top right corner. A bunch of resolutions will come up. I would recommend using the YouTube resolution if you are posting a YouTube video. You can also make your own resolutions. I won't go into too much detail about that. I use a preset my dad made called Seishu YouTube. There's one last button called File. You can click on that and a bunch of options will come up like New Project, Open Project, Save Project, Save Project As, and more. I will be only talking about the project since I have not experimented with the other options. You can save a project so you can edit it later. Click on one of the buttons and you will get to name your project. You can also open some other projects if you made some. my quick tutorial. Please don't be afraid to ask any questions or concerns in the comment section below. That was the end of this tutorial. I hope this video has helped you in some way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever you are watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye everybody!